lies, deceit, gaslighting, and name-calling. That's all we've gotten since uh, Ubisoft announced the new Assassin's Creed Shadows game that everybody has been hating on and trashing on from the get-go. And now we're getting some more lies and deceit here. Uh, but this one isn't actually from Ubisoft themselves, but more or less, uh, more somebody that worked with Ubisoft that claims, oh, I had nothing to do with it, even though he most definitely did. Uh, but we're going to dive into all of that here in just a moment. First, my name is Troy. You are watching Marks on Games. And before we get into everything, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell to be notified every time I post brand new content. I put up new stuff five days a week, Monday through Friday, whether it's shorts or long-form content. Sometimes I go live. It's uh, never really consistent anymore because of, uh, you know, my real-life job and all that. But... Uh, I cover a, ho a whole host of topics all the time, but right now today I'm going to cover Assassin's Creed Shadows and the latest bullcrap to come out about it before it even hits the shelves. Let's get into it. This one's from Bounding into Comics. Af uh, African Samurai, the true story of Yasuke. Uh, author Thomas Lockley lies about relationship with Ubisoft falsely claims he had nothing to do with Assassin's Creed Shadows. I wouldn't lie to you. Well, that's a lie. Huh. Yeah, well, now that people are hating on it, he's backing away from it. Despite having been interviewed by the dev team regarding the game's historical context, or at least his interpretation of it, Thomas Lockley, the academic responsible for the affirmative Yasuke was a true black samurai narrative, is attempting to claim that he had nothing to do with Ubisoft's upcoming Assassin's Creed Shadows. So that was a f***ing lie. An English-born scholar currently employed as an associate law professor at Japan's Nihon University, Lockley is perhaps best known as the author of the 2019 book African Samurai, The True Story of Yasuke, a legendary black warrior in feudal Japan, wherein he puts forth the claim based on his own informed research-based assumptions rather than any factual historical documents that the historical Yasuke was not a mere retainer to Oda Nobunaga, but a full-blown samurai in his own right. Everything that guy just says is In light of Ubisoft's recent decision to base their next Assassin's Creed title partly on Lockley's narrative, the academic has recently found himself under fire from not only Western players, but those in Japan as well, with some of the nation's politicians even going so far as to call for an investigation into his claims. This is just like a massive F up and just just a giant pile of doo doo that Ubisoft has stepped into with this effing game. I've never seen this before ever, not just with not just with other um, Assassin's Creed games, but just uh, just any game ever, period. <laughs> They've got an entire country pissed off at them over this effing game, and it's mind-blowing and kind of awesome because Ubisoft sucks, so they can go get effed. Go f yourself. <laughs> is that clear? I, I hope it is. Uh, to this end, Lockley was pressed for his thoughts on the backlash to both his works and Shadow's decision to take interpretation from it uh, by the eponymous host of the Lance E. Or, sorry, Lance E. Lee podcast in Tokyo, during uh, an appearance on the 364th episode of the Japanese culture-centric show. Quote, I don't know whether the game Assassin's Creed should have him as the main character, or it should have be uh, somebody else as the main character, Lockley told Lee. Quite frankly, I don't care. I have nothing to do with it. Don't attack Yasuke. Shut your f mouth! No problem, Charlie. Shut the f up, you c Shut it! Uh, asked by Lee, you see no royalties or anything? The academic ultimately affirmed, no, though my book start, uh, though my book's starting to sell well again, which is nice. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Uh, however, as previously reported by Bick's own cider hype, uh, Lockley did, in fact, have something to do with Shadows. Uh, on May 27th, the featured as the subject matter expert on the uh, Yasuke, the first African Samurai episode of Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed-centric new history podcast, Echoes of History. You. 
Good God. Uh, to this end, while Lockley may have not or may have had nothing to do with the actual development of Shadow's graphics, uh, mechanics, or story elements, it's clear that he at least worked with Ubisoft in a consultation uh, capacity, even if just as their go-to talking head for podcast interviews regarding the game's narrative. As of writing, neither Lockley nor Ubisoft have commented on the uh, a- academic false claim. I don't know what it is with these people where they keep trying to make fetch happen. Like, they they won't just take the L and move on. There has to be a Black Samurai, damn it. There has to. And Yasuke has to be it. Why, why don't we like Yasuke? Why don't we want Yasuke? You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. Because people didn't want a game, an Assassin's Creed game based in feudal Japan with a black male protagonist, especially one that you claim is based on a real-life historical character, uh, but you trounce on him. Like, well, they kind of build him up to be... Not kind of, they do. They build him up to be bigger than he ever freaking was in real life. That's like if we had um, a game set in America and you took some, some random foot soldier and you pretended like he was the the general of an army or something like it's 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 nuts he wasn't even a warrior nope yasuke like basically carried the damn weapons for oda nabanaga and other real samurai he wasn't a samurai himself plus the fact that you can make him lame and gay along with naoi in the story ha <laughs> gay they won't let that go cuz i i I just love when they take dead historical figures and decide that, well, you're gay now. They're trying to do that with Abraham Lincoln in some fake documentary that they're doing now. Do they find thoughts in our butts? Oh, well, did you know he was actually uh, gay and had a gay orgy? Like, like, what? What are you talking about? Quit trying to recruit dead people into your cult. You know, and I'm not judging you, but I'm just saying... Every, everybody else is gonna. Well, let's move on to one more article here as we wrap things up. Assassin's Creed Shadow's backlash prompts academic Thomas Lockley to defend his black samurai narrative. Yasuke was a hero in Japan. Liar! Uh, to which the Japanese people say, No, he wasn't. When you've got the entire country saying, You're wrong, and you're looking at the entire country going, No, you're wrong! Like, shut the F up, man. Take the L. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. In response to the growing backlash to his role in in inspiring Assassin's Creed Shadow's narrative, academic Thomas Lockley is standing behind his claim that the historical Yasuke was not just a retainer to Oda Nobunaga, but a full-on samurai, which many historical documents other than from this dude... It's just dumb! with some having even gone so far as to call for an official culture investigation into his claims. <laughs> I've, it's freaking nuts, man. I think you're all f***ing in the head. Uh, to this end, Lockley was pressed for his thoughts, uh, to the backlash, to uh, both his work and Shadow's decision to take inspiration from it uh, in the eponymous... Ho- it, it, yeah, he was on that Lancey e. Lee podcast, whatever. Quote, I've had some nasty comments on my Facebook page, he said, or said the academic. I've decided to take down all my family photos from my Facebook page. Are people real, like, I guarantee nobody's hunting down your family, man. If they are, I, like, that sucks, and people should not do that. This guy's just an idiot. Don't attack him and his family. Like, you can call him an idiot without, like, going after him and his family, but I I think this dude's overreacting. Until I see receipts, I'm going to go with this guy's making stuff up and overreacting, just like he did in his book, by the way. It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. No. It's totally made up. Pure fiction. Uh, Asked by Lee uh, whether any of these comments have come from any actual, uh, anyone actually from Japan, sorry, uh, Lockley admitted, quote, to be honest with you, yes, a few from a few from Japanese. Phrasing. Okay. Uh, though this is the first time ever that I've had anything uh, controversial from Japanese people about Yasuke, 
Yasuke is seen as a hero in Japan. Even in the 70s, he was a hero, and he's only gotten bigger. Right. Uh, that's not true at all. Uh, I'm not going to say what some of the comments are, but they're not very nice. Probably just calling him an a-hole and an idiot and a liar, and he's just making it into something bigger than it is, like Yasuke. Yep! And it's English Almost all of the comments or blog postings or massive amounts of stuff on YouTube, some of them are not necessarily directed at me per se. It's the idea that it and I've decided not to give them credence by watching, but I get reports from some people. I've got some beautiful messages on Instagram and things from people I don't know saying, you know, you must have, you must be having a hard time at the moment. Keep fighting the good fight, kind of thing. God dang! What man? What a what what a what a hero! Brave and bold and and stunning and brave. My God! I'll be your hero. He's he's fighting the good fight, people. And I'm not fighting anything, or and I'm not fighting any fight. But uh, it's lovely to have people just random strangers showing support. Uh, none of that happened. I'm, I'm telling you that right now. I have no proof, but I'm willing to bet, bet a substantial amount of money. None of that happened. None of this. Continuing, Lockley affirmed, Personally, I think Yasuke was a man, and he deserved to be given respect for what he did, which was absolutely amazing. Well, he was most certainly factually a man. So good for you for telling the truth on that one, I guess. Fact. To come from the other side of the world in difficult circumstances that we're not exactly sure were, uh, and to rise to the top of another country's culture and be at the side of the greatest ruler of the time at his death, fighting at his death, loyal to the end. He added, it's an amazing story, and I think we should give somebody like that the credit they deserve. Yeah, uh, credit to you for coming from Africa to go to Japan and uh, be the weapons holder for a freaking samurai warrior. Like, whatever, man. Who gives an F? Oh my god, who the hell cares? Uh, however, it should be noted that Lockley's denial regarding his involvement with Assassin's Creed Shadows is categorically false, as he was previously featured as a subject matter expert on the Yasuke, the first African Samurai episode of Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed-centric history podcast, Echoes of History. Yeah, so there you go, which I, I mentioned that earlier. I don't know if Ubisoft should be the ones making a history podcast and be talking about real-life history when everything they have is based in bullcrap. They've never done it this bad before. That is one big pile of shit. And, and they're just, like, so upset. I don't know if they're flailing because they're a failing studio and a failing company right now, and this game is clearly going to bomb. But, it's like, they're just gripping and, and scraping and clawing, and, and they just refuse to take the L on this one. They won't just take the effing L and move on. But they're going full steam ahead with this. Nobody wanted Yasuke. Nobody wanted a made-up black samurai in feudal Japan for this game. People have been wanting a game like this forever. And they couldn't just do it the right way. They had to DEI it up. And here we go. Freaking Yasuke. And now there's a whole uh, a whole discussion about this guy who really shouldn't even be getting talked about that much. I, yeah, he was a real historical figure. His real story is kind of interesting. I'm not going to lie about that. And, and, and he's been featured in other works of fiction before. But they're just like going so hard with it and they refuse to take the L or any criticism and their apology wasn't even really an apology it was more of like a look we're sorry that you're so offended and you're so butthurt about it but you know whatever f you i guess oh geez that's terrible and then all these fake game urinalists are coming out and pissing all over the fans again because anytime they can bring up gamer gate they effing will and crap on gamers and everything else, uh, because they're not real gamers, and they, they don't respect gamers in real life. But here we are. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is um, just another freaking L for Ubisoft, and I hope this game just... I, I can see it bombing, and I can't freaking wait to report on it when it finally does. 
But either way, to the rest of you, comment down below with what you think about all this. What do you think about Yasuke? Do you hate uh, what you've been seeing about this game so far? Do you side with uh, Japan and all the people that are against this crap? Or are you looking forward to this? Are you going to buy it when it comes out? What was the last Assassin's Creed game you played and actually enjoyed? And uh, do you think this Thomas Lockley dude is full of crap? Or are you going to go buy his book? Or have you already bought his book and read it? I'd, I'd honestly like to know. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section and uh, I'll converse with you. Uh, all, as always, the links to the articles I covered can be found down in the video description. And if you could, please share this video around everyone you know. Like the video and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post brand new content Monday through Friday without fail. Uh, I have been Troy. This is Marks on Games, and we'll see you next time.